Hello, this is Emma Lynn, and today I'm going to tell you guys a story on what happened to me a whole year ago, April 9, 2014. Now, today is April 9, 2015. Okay, so, April 9, or I'll start on April 8. I was at my grandma's, and I was talking to a girl on Facebook, and it's a person I thought I liked, and the next day, my mom called me, and she was like, what are you talking to this girl for? You don't know who she is. She's from New Jersey, and why are you talking to her? So, um, she kind of freaked out, and so I did too, and I felt like everybody hated me. What I didn't understand too is that my mom was just trying to protect me from these evil people, uh, not evil, but all these people that can be on the internet that are... That can be dangerous. You don't know who's hiding behind that screen. They can be, they can be a person that's like 20, 30, 50 years old, and they're probably just trying to ask for pictures or something so they can hurt you. You don't know what they're gonna do. And internet can be very dangerous. Anyways, I felt like I was being hated. I was at my grandma's, so, and my grandma also yelled at me for it, for it too, but. She, it's because they care about me and they don't want me to get hurt. But I misunderstood. I felt really horrible and I felt like everybody hated me. So I wrote a note a, on a, about that I just want to run away and get away from everything. And so I ran away. You might know, my grandma lives in like, we live in California. Okay. So, um, I ran away like about 11-ish to 12.30. I think I went missing at 12.30. Well, at this time, it's 1.02, okay? Today, right now, it's 1.02. So, about that time, I was probably... Um... I was probably maybe falling down that hill thing that when I was um, running away, I was walking up a hill and I slipped. And I was trying to climb back up. That's probably where I was right now, around that time. And yeah, and also I probably I was being re I um I probably got reported that I was missing. That's when my grandma probably found out that I was not at the house. I still get nightmares from this day though. And right now, I still get nightmares from it. Yeah, and I'm I'm better now. But anyways, I ended up seven miles away from where. Uh, my grandma lives, which I ended up at the Grand Bay Folsom Lake. And that, being at a lake by yourself can be very, 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 very dangerous because you don't know if some spider bite or something could have, or spider can bite me. But, but me and my mom believe that there was like an angel guardian, a guardian angel protecting me because I did not get hurt. But, Later, like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I got found. The sheriff, or actually not the sheriff, there was a guy that found me. He was talking to me and asking what is going on, and I, so I explained to him. So he called a sheriff. So the sheriff talked to me, and he, so he, I mean she, called my mom. And my mom was crying on the phone because she was so worried about me. And so, they told her I was, and that I'm safe. So, then the sheriff had me go in her car. The sheriff drove me up to the front, and we were wait. she was just asking me questions on what was happening, and why did I run away. I told her it was because of, I felt like I was hated, and that it was because of a girl on Facebook. And, yeah. So, we are waiting, and my mom finally arrived with my dad. Dave and then my um, step grandpa. Yeah. Anyways, when my, I went to go see my mom and dad, out, they were standing right by outside of the sheriff car. I went out to go see them, and I fell on the ground. I couldn't walk. They called. They called the sheriff. They called the the ambulance, and they had to go check me, check my like blood pressure and all. My blood sugar was very low. I was extremely dehydrated. I had a fever, so they decided that I needed to go to the hospital. 
and I was there for about probably six hours. But then until they finally released me and let me go home, and I didn't get to be home till like 2 a.m. I still get nightmares from that day. That day was very awful. Yeah, and so it took me a long time before I ever went back on internet because of that person and I had to recover so I had to stay away from the internet while at this time but always just be careful who you talk to and thanks to all my friends who has helped me and been there for me when I needed it shout out to Kate Emily Santina and I'll have a lot more friends who has helped me and my cousins Alice and Rosie has helped me. My mom has helped me. My counselors. And thanks to Kayleen and Lucy, they have helped a lot too. I watched their videos. I think they're really good people. They're my favorite. They're my favorite YouTubers too. And then also, I like to read this story sometimes right here. Staying strong. I'll probably try to find today's quote of the day. And it'll be on April 9. It says, I think it's very healthy to spend time alone. You need to know how to be alone and not to be defined by another person. It's not always easy to be alone. As I've come to spend more quality time alone, it's not only become easier, but I have started really enjoying my solitude. Whether you are an introvert or an extrovert, it's really important to find peace and joy in alone time when we really get to know ourselves alone. We become stronger people and better friends and overall better people. Find comfort in spending time alone with your thoughts. Yesterday's quote, April 8, was recovering is something that you have to work on every single day. And it's something that doesn't get a day off. Being in recovery isn't always easy. I have good days and d days when I feel like giving up. But those are the days I know I have to ask for help, which isn't easy. Whether it's a physical addition, a mental health issue, a disability, or an emotional trauma. We all have things we're working though through. The goal isn't to be perfect, it's just to be the healthiest version of yourself, inside and out. Goal. What traumas are you recovering from? What issues are you working through? Reach out to a friend or seek professional help to support yourself. And that actually, would, that actually matches up to how I've been going through. But I talk to my friends when I need help. Or also, there's coping skills that you need. If you really feel hurt, sad, or anything, what I want to uh, do, you need to do something that you like doing. Like, I play violin sometimes, or I do ballet. Also, um, over this whole year, I've been through a lot, but... 2014, yeah, it was a really hard year, but also a great year. There was the ups and the downs, but there was years, there was times that the first half of the year was horrible, but the first half of the year was great, except for when my great grandma passed. It was horrible. I missed her. I missed her so much, but she's probably over watching over us right now. I really miss her, but I remember all the great days I've had of her. She was a she was a great person, but she wants us to be happy. Anyways, I've had I had goals that I I actually did reach last year. Two goals I reached was to be a, a lead role in a play and also to get on point in ballet. In, in August, in October, I got on point in ballet. And also, I got the lead role as the Spanish princess in the Nutcracker. 
And that was really exciting, because that was my very, very first lead and first solo. It was scary at first to be doing a solo, but also exciting. Also, what you should do, that says, do not ever give up. Because if you give up, then you won't reach what you always wanted to do. I am reaching my goals that I've been wanting to do. I'm in point now. I got a lead rule already. I'm still working on my goals, but... I'm reaching them by not giving up. And always remember, there's people who out there who aren't real friends or who are real friends. But no matter what, don't let anything hurt you. Always be happy. And like from the Cinderella movie, it says, be kind. No, it says, be have courage and be kind. That's actually a good thing. Like, it reminds you, no matter what, be happy, be nice, and don't let things get to you. So, yeah. Also, about Kayleen and Lucy are really great people. They're my favorite YouTubers. They, if you don't know who they are, they're a um, couple that used, they used to be a long distance couple. Kayleen, she is from, I think, Illinois, I don't know. Yeah. Lucy is from England. And they were they, they were um, in a long-distance relationship for the longest time. Until finally, in 2014, they, they moved to Arizona together. And now they are together for five years. But anyways, uh... They're a couple who is a long-distance relationship, and they also love to help people with advice. If you need advice, you should listen to them. Watch some of their videos, they can help you. And also, remember that you're not alone. There's a lot of people out here like like you. I'm, in their t I'm not alone either, but I talk to friends when I feel alone, but... Remember, you're never alone. There's so many people out there. And don't let anything put you down. Be happy. Do what, you, do what makes you happy. Don't do what makes you not happy. Don't be what people don't... Don't be what the world wants you to be. Be what you, who you want to be. Be who you are. Be who you want to be. Don't let people say, Oh, you shouldn't do that. You gotta do what you wanna do. Like, if some person says, Oh, you shouldn't be a dancer. That, you would look, you would be bad. Don't listen to what they say. They're just jealous. They're, they're just mean. They're trying to put you down because they don't, they, they think they know that you would have a better chance. Ignore them. You be what you wanna do. Be happy and do what you're doing. Cause you, only, what matters is, is what only matters to you not what they think other people you shouldn't let them hurt you because if you know what's if you know it's not true then it's not true like if somebody calls you a name like and you know that's not true don't sit there and put that in your head and say oh i really am a stupid idiot don't let them, don't, because they're just saying, that's what they're saying. If you know you're not a stupid idiot or anything, you need to ignore those words, bury those words, and say, I am, I am a good person, I'm happy, I'm a strong person, I'm awesome, I can do this. Be happy. Reach your goals, do what you want. I still recovering from that day when I ran away, but you know, since that day, I my life has changed. I've learned a lot since then, and I am being stronger. I've gotten to a lot of goals. My goal is someday to be a dancer or be an actress. Also, if you saw my videos in the haunted house, I worked at Scandia's haunted house. That was really fun. I met some really great friends there. Like Cassie, Bess, 
Teresa, Ter Teresa, Asher, and Teresa Hughes. That's who friends named Teresa's. So there's also Megan, Mariah, Alana. I have a bunch of friends from the haunted house that I talk to. Definitely my friend Chris. He's awesome. But yeah. And also Cheyenne, but yeah, those people were really awesome. I miss them, but we call them the Haunt Family. We call each other Haunt Family because pretty much we're like a family to each other at the haunted house. Anything happened, we always stuck up for each other. There was that haunted house was so fun to work in. It like I was the at first I was the, one of the poltergeist girls, the lo one of the girls who sang at the TV. It says, they're here. But I kind of got, like, I wanted to try something else. And I felt that I fit more better as an Annabelle doll. But I didn't really feel like I fit in with the poltergeist. I felt more that I fit in as a doll better. I was more better acting as a doll. Yeah, but being a doll was so fun in the haunted house. I got to, like, screw, I got to, like, um dress up as a creepy doll. I had my hair in a braid. I actually can pull up a picture of my, um, of it. Okay, so, I'll look up a picture of the, from the haunted house. I even had eye contacts on. One was red and one was white. And here's a picture. It's a bit blurry. Anyways, that's supposed to be the animal doll. Here's another picture. But, yeah, that was so fun doing that haunted house. I learned a lot of experience in acting and staying in character, makeup, and all that. It took, it would be like days when it was like, it was kind of hot or cold there. But I, I, I went there every single day, I mean like every single haunt day we went there. I never skipped a day because I, I never wanted to give up. And I was one of their top monster people there. There was, there was, there was some funny people that we would see that would be so scared in this haunted house. We call, it's the wuss, we are the um, wuss maker, that's what we're called. So we have like three or four wuss doors and um the wuss doors are for people who cannot handle the haunted house so they can run out a wuss door but we count every single wuss we got around 600 something this year and over this year and last year that one those two years we got a probably about a thousand um people who wussed out because it is pretty scary. I even kind of got scared going through it, the whole entire thing by myself. Well, I didn't go by myself. I went with friends that were in a haunted house. We would sometimes go through it just to look. And it was pretty dang scary. And there was a day that I got kicked in the jaw really hard because I grabbed somebody's ankle. But I just took a break, and like a 30 minute break, then went back in the room. And got ice. I'll just have ice during when people are not going through. I'll put ice on my pin. And. But um, people say that I'm strong for doing that. That they said if I got, they got kicked in the jaw. They would have went to the hospital. I chose to stay since there was only two days left of the haunted house. And I did not want to give up. Because haunted, doing the haunted house was a lot to me. It was so much fun being in that haunted house. I can't wait to do that again year. I'm probably going to be the same role again. I don't know yet. It depends on what there is. But I can't wait to do that again. It was the funnest thing to do there. Yeah. So, if you guys know about Kayleen and Lucy again, please check their check out their YouTube channel. So. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I was just looking at the TV for quick. Wolf Children. That's an anime that I like. It's one of my favorite animes. There's a few animes that I really like. 
Planad. Elfin lied. Full, full moon. Oh, sad to say. I don't know how to say the name, but it's about a little girl. Some 12 year old girl who has a tumor in her throat. And she continues to sing. She still wants, she wants to do a singing. And she does the singing no matter what. Even how, even though it's really hard queer for her to do that, but she continues doing that for, for and what the chat says is not to give up on your dreams. Kaylee and Lucy are the best. Yeah. <laughs> And I have some kittens right here. They're I'm babysitting them for my grandma. She's my grandma's in the hospital right now. She's recovering from back surgery, so I'm babysitting her babies while she's in the hospital. I'll show you one at a time. Isn't she cute? And here's another one. You can hear them, can't you? Here's the other ones. This is another boy, and this is a boy. I'm gonna put them in our carrier for now. No, I might just let them loose, actually. I'll just let them run around a bit. Because I need extra guys. So, if you know, I do animal rescue. Me and my family do animal rescue. We've done it our whole entire life. But, if you want to ever get an animal, come check out ARC. A animal, re angels rescuing critters. Come check them out. We've got some cute kittens, cats, dogs. If you can't, if you can't adopt, you can donate if you want. You can donate to the animals. You can help the animals by, um... But I hope save them by them donations. I think they're hungry right now, but I'll feed them soon. She's a cute little kitten. Oh, you're purring. Purring, purring, purring. Ow. Yeah, so about that story when I ran away. That was a tragic day. Today has been a year since that has happened. And I did not get bitten or anything. I did have a few scratches on my like feet and stuff because I had flip flops on and I was wandering around in the woods and uh, um lake. I did get sunburned and I had a bit of a heat stroke. I kind of got heat stroke there. Well, it's not really like heat stroke, but it was somewhat similar to it. Because, like, everything was off. Now it could be kind of dangerous, but at least I'm safe now. He's so cute. He's a cute little kitten. Just purring for you guys. Okay, kitten. It's still, I never finished painting my nails. <laughs> this kitten's crazy. She's cute. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, I hope this story has helped you guys. Because this story has changed my life. And I'm just sharing it to you guys now since it's been a year and I'm ready to just, just to show the story out. And no matter what you do, who you are, don't hate yourself. Because it's who you are. Doesn't matter what others think. Be you, be yourself. Like, if you are a girl and you like girls, don't let people hurt you for it. Those people are just stupid. Be happy. Also, if you like a show, 
that others don't and you think it, they hate they they hate the show don't let them bother don't let that bother you you can do and like what you want don't let them hurt you for it there are just mean people out there there's always going to be somebody that's mean out there but always ignore that be happy don't listen to what they say and you got to step up stay strong and never give up on your dreams. Be who you are. Anyways, thank you. Please subscribe. My name is Emma Lynn. And have a good day.